Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Share Your Grin aka I watched a TV show and I loved it slash anime. It's 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 oftentimes anime. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, the weeb inside me is ever growing in strength. <laughs> Disgusting, I know. Anyways, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about an absolutely charming and just wonderful, goofy, fun show called Love is War or Caillou... Nope. No. No. Love is War. <laughs> it's called Love is War. Filthy Westerner as I am, Love is War or Canadian Westerner or whatever you want. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, now straight out the cuff, um, I'm going to title this video, uh, we're going to be breaking down the series, but we're also going to be talking about if there will be a season three to Love is War, because one of the things that I always like to do after I watch a show is see if we're going to be able to get another season, and a lot of times with an anime, it's a lot of checks and balances, did it sell well, did it do this or that, we get, we're getting another one, <laughs> we're getting a season three as well as two OVAs, I think, at the end of this um, year. The time and when things come out is where I don't know about, but the, we are guaranteed getting a season three. Um, it was confirmed all by the people's Twitter and all that lovely things. Here's uh, the page from Funimation. Bra, bra, bra. Love is War season three um, officially announced as well as the OVA uh, is coming in 2020. Uh, one so at the middle of this year and people are speculating that maybe we'll get a season three at the beginning of 2022 or maybe even the very very end of 2021 we'll see always be careful because covid things can happen and uh you may look like a fool <laughs> i have been there a great many times it's unfortunate <laughs> that covid ruined release dates so much and it just shotgun blast me in the face because i was made videos about like hey they're getting its seasons and then mo everyone was like no more seasons for that show that was beloved because eat me <laughs> as will officially return for a season three the news was revealed on their official japanese twitter account uh, for the series uh, confirming that the third season was in production um, and an ova uh, project would launch in 2021 okay yeah so it seems like they're already in production by the time this one out um, so yes, they're under way of creating the thing itself. So that's why some people are saying maybe potentially expect, um, later on 2021, um, or the very end of 2021, but we're going to be getting an OVA at some point, probably in the mid, uh, 2021, uh, thing, two OVAs, two episodes Neat. I don't know what they're going to be about. Usually OVAs are kind of just random nonsense, <laughs> to be honest, but I digress. But now my friends, this is a part of me just gushing about the show that I thought was so adorable. Also, what is with the weird dubbing situation? I wanted to watch this show forever ago, but they dubbed the first season before the second season's licensing is a nightmare. Okay, that's one thing that's hella evident, is that <laughs> licensing is a nightmare. I know some people don't like dub. <laughs> Calm down. You're special and unique. You don't understand what <laughs> people are saying and you like to read a lot. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Come calm down. <laughs> For those guys who are utterly taken aback and confused um, about why myself as well as, as well as many others are so, so in love with this show, let me do my best to explain it to you. And also hopefully intrigue you to actually go watch it. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, um, Love is War is a wonderful series. It's, it's very much, it's not like an isekai weirdness. It's very much... It's kind of like a, on the same kind of sphere as like Disastrous Life of Psyche K, except without the like bananas, psychic weirdness, Baka and Tess, um, stuff like that. Those like kind of looked like a slice of life inside of like a high school, but the high school was kind of a little exaggerated um, and whatnot. Essentially, the basis of the story of this show is that there's a high school full of elite billionaire children, like children of billionaires, like super finance, financial secure people, just like immensely powerful people in society. They all go to this school. Um, and essentially, we're, we're following the shenanigans and antics of the student council president's kind of friend group slash employees, whatever, with the main underlining thread of love is war, which basically is um, whoever admits that they love a person first, people, it's like a weird adage, but whoever tells the other person, I love you first, will always love the other person more or will always... This is another I like a perception of it will always be at the beck and call of the other person because they love them more because they gave in first and yeah this is a weird weird thing I don't know this seems very like 
insecure people <laughs> with their emotions level shit. <laughs> but I digress. I tell everybody I love them. <laughs> am I am I the asshole? <laughs> Anyways. Oh, you like to see the, the good people uh, and tell them that. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. You're lesser or I control you. Bitch, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> what are you talking about? My nonsense aside, you have to be like, Grin, that seems like a really weird take on a show. Well, it's anime, so yes, it is. Um, but also... The, the show is basically hindered on the idea of these two people love each other a lot. Like, they like the shit out of each other, and at this point in season two, they probably fucking deeply, deeply love each other. Um, but none of them, or sorry, neither of them, will actually tell the other person that they have feelings for them because of that underlying note of like, well, if I admit it, um, then that means that they'll they'll think less of or not think less of me But I'll basically lose this war the idea of whoever says I love you first Will inherently love the other person more um, And both of them very kind of have different reasons of why to keep that bottled up to some extent Like one of the reasons is student council president He's actually from like a lesser family like a low-class family But he's incredibly intelligent, but he also works his ass off completely probably because he wasn't from a very rich family So he had to work harder um, he has an incredible work ethic. Um, so for him, he's been try having to prove himself this whole time, like this whole it was schooling experience. He's had to make make it known that I deserve to be here. And the girl is in the opposite kind of mirroring image of that, where she comes from a very, very, very pre prestigious family. Um, and she doesn't want, like, by, by being the first one to pursue an individual would therefore be weakness. Or she's a high class lady, the person should come to her. That's the uh, manners or whatever she might say. Regardless, um, it's actually not in, I'm explaining it like very much like black and white of what the things are here, but it's all ingratiated with a shit ton of humor, a crazy amount of charm, and just very, very interesting things it does. And we'll get into that. Now we're on the part of the video. Or I'm just gushing about the show. <laughs> so here we are. So like one of the things that's brilliant about the show, and I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's hit or miss for some people. I think it's just charming. But there's this basically God voice um, that's just like very much cutting, cut and dry about what he's talking about. But also he's just a goofball. And he also points out like, so if you didn't understand it, both of them are crazy and misunderstanding everything. Because it's anime, of course, they're misunderstanding everything. But... There's this like God level voice. He's always like, uh, no, he doesn't think that you're an idiot. <laughs> you're crazy. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna go horribly. We were, hey, hey audience, let's watch this train wreck together. And it went terribly. There it is. How will they recover? And they recover. The good news is this story is almost always complete in itself. So it very ever like leaves itself with some great deal of contention. Um, so you're always at the end of every episode. It's like who won, who lost. And they both kind of won. It's not like anyone's really ever lost. Also, the main character has this weird, weird uh, attachment to the word uh, cute. Um, and it's kind of one of those things where it's like, well, most dudes don't want to be referred to as cute because <laughs> it's like, well. Yeah, I don't know why. It doesn't make a lot of sense, honestly. It could be a term of endearment. Um, I don't know, because I guess it's like looking down at someone, maybe. That doesn't make sense either, because dudes call girls cute. I don't think it's meant to be hostile either, so I don't think women would mean it to be hostile either as well. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm playing like scenes from the from the movie on the side profile, probably, just so there's something to look at beside, despite my disgusting face. Um, okay, I want to talk about the characters. So first of all, the main dude character who's like, he's got like this creepy ass gr like eyes like just super fucking resting bitch face over 9000 kind of thing um and and to me it's hilarious because there's parts in the show where i'm like wait 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 i'm not sure if this is actually like good like if you're a good couple together you know what i mean because there's these moments where like uh there's like a whole plot thread where the dude basically gets like a shit ton of sleep which is abnormal for him because he's just working all the time because he has to in order to like maintain his his uh status i guess uh, there's a moment in the show where he gets a lot of rest his eyes become less like piercing because he's no longer has bags under his eyes um and he goes and interacts with the club his like his uh the the, the female heroine of the show um and she's kind of like she's like i'm not into him anymore and i'm like well, that's not <laughs> that you you're only with someone because they have like pier, pier, piercing eyes that seems 
like a weird bit of business. <laughs> I'm not sure how long this relationship would last, I'll be honest. But, I, mean, I guess it's just attraction. Because like, if you vote well with one another and you happen to have an aspect of them that you're attracted to, so it's actually pretty interesting because he he's very much uh, like he it's weird. He has like his own. The more you unlock the show, the like, like go through the show, the more you realize that he has just these weird ass traits and he's like hyper responsible. But he also like his mother left. So there's probably is some weird shit there. You know, like there's underlying threads and the more you learn about it, the more you're like, that's cool. But also, oh, I understand why you're like this. <laughs> why you're like, ah, uh, and, and then the the female heroine. I'm terrible with names, by the way, guys, if you're unaware. Um, she is to me, she, she steals the show. She's like so, so interesting because she is the character that is like super, super like she has every edge that can possibly a person can have. Um, and she uses uses and leverages all of it. And that's the other great thing about the show is he kind of is like a, he's kind of stumbling his way through a lot of encounters. Maybe he has he's like the club president or whatever. He's like the student council president. So he's got a lot of shit going on. So I kind of get that aspect of it. But the one girl who's his secretary is way more like a stupid amount of forethought, like on a bordering on like yonderay levels of forethought. In fact, Outside of like their murderous in intent for the love interest, she's probably under in every in every way. There's so many times throughout the show where she's like, "Oh yeah, I planned eight steps ahead, and I knew you would forget this, and that's why I I also am here, even though I have this thing, so that you do that thing to me." And it's just like, <laughs> this is beyond uh, beyond stalker a little bit. <laughs> But also, always a little bit endearing. And a lot of the comedy in the show is very much like, like it feels like what is improv, which is to accept what is as reality and move forward. Because uh, there's so many times where it's like, wait, wait, what? I'm lost. Like, how can you believe that this equals that? <laughs> like, like, there's, but also, all of them are kind of fucked up. Like, all of the characters are 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 kind of in this weird place where they come from, like really privileged families. And, and they're kind of been sheltered their whole life, but also they all ha have these weird things that's happened to them, which is also, you know, shitty. Um, and yeah, you kind of understand why, why like the messed up perception of things are, but also, also it's just a comedy anime. So it's just trying to have fun. It's not trying to be like, like draw conclusions and be accurate in the way they emotionally feel because of X, Y, Z. Although they do do a good job about that. I forgot to talk about the two my favorite characters you know how i said that the one like the, the heroine of the show to steals the show which she does i well first of all let's talk about the pink hair girl pink hair girl is just the delight she's just this like anecdotal weird thing she's like she's to me the closest thing to actual stand-up in the show or like she has moments where there's a there's a punchline and she kills it um, like especially the moment where <laughs> there's also there's so many memes with her in it where she's like i raised that boy <laughs> something stupid <laughs> but also in the show i see that meme everywhere and i watch the show and i'm like oh i get it because she fucking put in the work for this dude who is terrible at so many activities and she's like the unsung hero who's like the secretary slash big sister who teaches him how to do all this other shit and doesn't judge him for it it's great but also she's kind of a freak <laughs> She's kind of a, a weirdo who wants to go to cemeteries. Like, what the fuck? But also, kind of cool. Anyways, <laughs> I got problems myself. Anyway, the other thing, ladies and gentlemen, um, is my favorite character out of the whole characters that exist is the emo guy. The emo dude is just hilarious because he, he they nail what his character archetype is, I think, so well. Which is a character who, like, doesn't mean to fuck up so much, but he does. He just finds himself in, like, a... Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I just I was act I was acting on impulse <laughs> and, and I ended up in a nightmare. Oh no. It's great. Um also the last he has a, an incredible amount of character development and I'm hoping that in season 3 we'll get the rest of the other characters kind of character development. Like we still haven't went into what happened to uh uh into the main heroine's mom, so we don't know how that affected her. Could be pretty big. We also have one into how the, uh, the the main male character, how he's dealt with the fact that his mom basically left the family and, and ran off with some dude. You know what I mean? I could see them, those two interacting with season three or four or five or whatever uh, manga, whatever the hell uh, happens. I could see those interacting with like him having a resentment for his mom and the main heroine girl not being happy with that because she doesn't even have a mom. 
Um, but also, I call bullshit because the dude, like the the one girl, comes from a very privileged family, which you could make up for the lack of a parent with maids and whatnot. Not hundred percent, of course. There's always like love, which comes from a parent. But the one dude. Uh, literally had to like ra help raise his sister, help the dad, all, has to work jobs just to help shit go, keep moving. So yeah, there's moments like that where like if they ever do that kind of like back and forth, back and forth plot thread, which I don't know if they'll do. Uh, is, I'm not sure about it. I feel like that's, that, that's, you guys may have to challenge me on that because I'm not sure. I mean, again, both are horrible, horrible instances. But, but yeah, bottom line is the one emo dude is the best. He's such a cool character to me. I don't know why. Because you just, there's so much moments where you're like, I feel you. I get it. You try to, you try to be nice and you come across in a weird way and you're like, ah, fuck. <laughs> My childhood coming back at me. And only, and also, he's, he's like, super genuine into who he is which is interesting but also a lot of them are like that but i think he is like that to a fault where like a lot of their personality types don't conflict um but he his does his is like oh i made everyone feel weird or oh i said the wrong thing <laughs> whereas everyone else is kind of like oh i i'm a freak who likes cemeteries and it's like yeah <laughs> weird but sure oh and also there's one more character there's like the the virtuous character which is like the tiny girl who has a bunch of virtues I don't know. She, I, her, she's kind of fine. She's okay. <laughs> I don't know. She, she kind of popped in and I was like, are you here? <laughs> you were here for a couple times. I, I will say though, um, I really do hope, this is my like ending thing on the show though. I won't talk your ear off, but um, I really, really do hope that at some point, um, whether it's in season three, whether it's season three into a movie or whenever this show comes to an end, I really do desperately want um, the, like, the, the conclusion aspect of this show, because I'm hoping that we get, like, a, a couple more seasons, I'm hoping it continues to do well, because it did really well, like, both season one and two did great, um, so the odds of us getting consistent seasons, hopefully, are pretty good, but also, I do hope that things come to act, like, a close, uh, this is, like, one of those things where you're waiting for, like, one of them to cave, um, and to me, how do you guys feel about that, actually, because I'm actually curious, with the whole answer or question of the show, which is, who should say I love you first? Um, in their specific instance, I think it should be the girl. The reason why is because of the underlying thread, which is not for the, like, I, I hope that the dude gets over, like, the idea of him calling her cute or whatever, because that's just a kind of a stupid, silly, like, anecdotal thing. Um, I, I do think, like, the dude, um, every step of the way had to prove himself in this, sh in this school. And I could totally see that being a bigger issue. Um, where, like, I, I'm, I'm hoping how they would handle it is the dude's, like, about, about to drop the line of, like, okay, I'm gonna say it, because fuck it, I just, I want to, I'm done playing this game. And then hopefully she squeezes in and says it first. Because to me, that would be very, very cool, because she comes from, like, this prestigious, prestigious family, um, which is amazing. And also, she has that, like, that weird, like, I want to be in, I don't know how to put it. She had, like, it's like, kind of like, I want to be in control. I don't know. If he said it to her, I feel like it would mean nothing. Whereas if she said it to him, I think it would mean a lot of a lot. You know, I could be wrong on that for sure. <laughs> Come at me correctly. Oh, this is something I was hoping that they would do or they will do in the future. Um, because I've heard about that weird thing where it's like, whoever says I love you first will always love the person more, which I'm like, okay. I I always thought there'd be a really cool like comeback to that idea, which is, okay, so say, like, let's shotgun ourselves in the future, because maybe the dude ends up saying, uh, I love you first. One of the things I was, I was hoping that there'd be a, like, a part, whenever this, the unveiling of whoever says what happens first, because you know they're gonna be together, if they're not, then they just blue ball on the whole goddamn audience, developers, or whatever, or creators, but I was really hoping that there'd be this moment, he says, or maybe she says, or whatever, whoever says, I love you first, um, then there's like this un underlying thing of like, hey, I won, like I, I I got it to happen or whatever. And then for the person who said I love you to say, well, yeah, um, like because to me there, there's like this underlying power of like, okay, let's like right now, yeah, you may we may be playing this weird like power game, but what if we like shotgun ourselves into the future and I can tell our kids or our children that I loved your mom more than me or I was the first one to say it. Yeah, yeah, I was head over heels for it. Because I feel like that would be a cool thing. Is to be like, yeah, yeah, or, or just that. Being like, okay, yeah, I love you more than you love me. 
Like if you if a person truly loves you, that's fucking frustrating. You're like, fuck off. No, you don't. Don't just fucking come at me with that bullshit. <laughs> I love you the same, if not more. Fuck, fuck right off. <laughs> so to me, I'm hoping that that's the contention is whoever, someone will say it first. They'll hold it over the other person. Like, yeah, I guess I just love you more than you love me. And, <laughs> and the other person being like, I don't like this. <laughs> this is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. <laughs> okay. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, that was Love is War. We are getting another season, a season three. Potentially, it doesn't really say when it will happen, by the way. Um, it's People are speculating that we're, we're going to get an OVA around 2021. People are speculating pretty early in 2021. Um, like mid-year, sorry, not early. Um, and then people are speculating that 2022, we probably definitely should get another season. But there's potential for it happening a slight bit sooner than that. But it's all kind of anecdotal. It's whenever they finish the thing and get it out to the world and the ethos. Um, but I do think, uh, hopefully there won't be any like dubbing nonsense, which was definitely present within the season one and two situation. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we cover a great deal of things on the channel. We cover gaming. We also cover anime a great deal. I'm actually debating making a separate channel to just for this, just so that it's like not stepping on the current content's toes in a weird way but yes i'll continue to uh, suggest shows that i think are lovely to you guys as well as uh look into how the like so you don't have to basically sift through articles and see what the hell's going on i could just make a quick video <laughs> make a video <laughs> uh telling you guys what's up uh also maybe want someone to talk about the show with which i would love to hear what you guys think about it as well but ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your time you've been nothing shy of lovely like i said thank you again for doing anything the video to the video if you have and goodbye <laughs>